Congress peeled an all-hands-on-deck today as U.S. warships sailed up the Narrows to begin Fleet Week. Amazing, amazing to see the beauty, the majesty, our sailors. Some with a history couldn't help but salute. Former seaman Carl Muller travels from Pennsylvania every year to watch the fleet with his friends, a tradition they intend to keep. As long as I'm still healthy, so I will, you know. Something you can't, you don't lose. It's, it's in you. And this, a celebration not to be missed. Nearly 4,500 sailors, Marines, and Coast Guards will arrive in New York City for the 28th time. For many watching and waving, it's an opportunity to pay respect. We pay that big price for freedom in 1776, and we're still doing it. The parade of ships included five Navy ships, four patrol boats, and two Coast Guard cutters. A special boat, the USS Bataan, set off an 11-gun salute. Commissioned in 1997, it's the first Navy ship specifically designed to house females. The best that we have to offer sometimes is sailing right past our door here. But one soldier just wishes that enthusiasm for country showed more than just this week. I wish this was like every day. You know, every day you have a soldier coming home and then you have soldiers that never come home. The celebration concludes on Memorial Day, commemorating those who died serving this country. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.